Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christie. My name is Dr. Christie Reisinger, and today I'm going to give you an update on the protein-based Novavax vaccine. At the start of the pandemic, this vaccine gave us all such hope that it would be the one that could convince the vaccine hesitant to move forward with a COVID vaccine because it uses tried and true technology that's been used for vaccines like hepatitis B. It offers another option to those vaccines based on novel technologies such as the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. And it can be shipped and stored for up to six months using regular refrigeration temperatures, which can help increase access in hard to reach areas. In February, 2021, Novavax issued interim results from its large UK phase three trial, reporting 95% efficacy against the original variant of the virus. And the latest results published in the New England Journal of Medicine on January 5th, 2022, studied about 30,000 patients from the US and Mexico and showed vaccine efficacy overall of 90%. And notably, no patients that received two doses of the Novavax vaccine developed a moderate to severe COVID-19 infection. Furthermore, efficacy was maintained against any variant of concern during the trial, which included variants such as alpha, beta, gamma, epsilon, and iota. But notable absences are the delta and omicron variants. Manufacturing slowdowns seem to have continually hampered the vaccine's release into market. While many vaccine companies own or have access to large manufacturing facilities, Novavax is building a network of them from scratch. Furthermore, Novavax has had to switch between several manufacturing facilities due to issues with contractors not being able to deliver standard quality and purity levels. Meanwhile, the U.S. has been blessed with three excellent COVID vaccine options early on from Pfizer, Moderna, and J&J. But this is certainly not true for many of our brothers and sisters around the world. COVAX is the initiative that's been tasked with ensuring there's equitable access to vaccines around the world. And they were depending heavily on Novavax to supply 1.1 billion doses to them. But before we despair too much, I am hopeful that the Novavax vaccine will eventually come to market and help close the gap in vaccine supply that we're seeing around the world. Recently, the company announced that it will likely apply for emergency use authorization in the United States by the end of this month. And they have already been given emergency use authorization by the World Health Organization under the name COVOVAX. And with that WHO emergency use authorization, Novavax and partner Serum Institute of India can now ship doses of COVAVAX to the COVAX program which as I mentioned previously, will help to supply vaccines to low and middle income countries. So how does this vaccine work? It works by using protein subunit technology that's already been used in the past and that has a track record for safety. Currently, some of the forms of the annual influenza vaccines and the HPV vaccine use a similar technology and have been around since 2006 with a great safety track record. Furthermore, the hepatitis B vaccine licensed in 1986 and given to newborn babies on their first day of life also uses this technology. To create their COVID-19 vaccine, Novavax developers made their own version of the spike protein that's found on the surface of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Once that was done, they inserted the protein into a different virus called a baculovirus and allowed it to infect moth cells. The infected cells produced spike proteins similar to the ones found on SARS-CoV-2. The researchers harvested the spike proteins from the moth cells and combined them with an adjuvant, which helps to stimulate a strong protective immune response. The adjuvant they decided to use was a purified plant compound from the soap bark tree. The spike proteins and adjuvant combination is then injected into the muscles of the arm. Antibodies are produced by a person's immune system, so the next time it sees spike proteins from the SARS-CoV-2 virus, it will produce a strong immune response immediately to prevent infection and progression to COVID-19 symptoms. This vaccine requires two doses 21 days apart, 
and has a good safety and side effect profile. Thanks for joining me.